Oh boy, oh boy. Do I have a video for you guys. Garage is empty, bikes are gone. No, they're not, I'm joking. Hope everyone is doing awesome. Both bikes are outside and I'll tell you guys why. A lot of people, a lot of people have been messaging me and commenting which bike is faster. 2020 Road Glide Special Performance Bagger, 130 Team Amp Performance Motor, built by none other than Dino Dave. JD Cycle Works, Nazareth, Pennsylvania, 153 horsepower, 156 foot pounds of torque. Holy cow, right? Things looking beast. Just wanna give you guys a quick update. The right there, Arlen Ness brakes, these, these 14 inch big brake rotor kit, the solid ones work fantastic. Absolutely fantastic and Another update, they finally got back to me, gave me a refund on the other ones, so thank you so much, Arlen Ness. That out of the way, the bike is absolutely amazing. You guys know it, you guys have seen it, you guys have heard it. 153 horsepower, 156 foot-pounds of torque, zippers, chain drive, conversion kit. We have Dark Horse Crankworks crank in it. We have Man of War Compensator, built engine, stage four, the works. 800, I'm gonna say 10 pounds, 820 pounds, somewhere around there, versus our 2022 Street Bob 114 with a stage two, SNS 475 cam, Bassani two into one road rage exhaust, also put together and dyno tuned by none other than Dino Dave, JD Cycle Works in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. He is your guy to go to. 118 horsepower, 132 foot-pounds of torque, weighing in at only 618 pounds. That thing is light, that thing is fast. So a lot of people have been asking me, which bike is faster? And I really couldn't say up to today because Silverback is crazy fast. I mean, it, it is fast. Again, don't give me no stupid comments. I could just go and buy a 5000 ZX14 or a Hayabusa. Yeah, we understand that. We are not trying to compare these Harley Davidsons to a leader bike. I've had many leader bikes. I understand that they are faster. So if you're thinking about that comment, just throw it in the garbage. We are just trying to compare a Street Bob Softail Stage 2 compared to a heavy bagger with a 130 Stage 4. And I think it's going to be an awesome comparison. So a lot of people, like I said, do ask me, which one do you think is faster? And I honestly, I don't know. I really can't tell because Silverback is crazy fast. And this is crazy fast with only a Stage 2 because it's so light. But today we are going to find out because I have if you guys don't know we're going to be doing some draggy times draggy is a gps unit which is about that big about three inches long and about an inch thick that you put on the motorcycle in your car wherever it's a gps tracking device you run it with the app on your phone and it's super super accurate without a doubt it's super accurate a lot of people might say oh that's not accurate it is very very accurate we've taken it to the track other people hundreds thousands of people have taken the draggy unit to the track and brought it up against times with a time slip a printed time slip it's literally like one thousandths of a second difference between the drag strip time slip and the draggy results that come on the phone so it's very accurate so that's what we're going to be using today we're going to get some zero to zero to 60 runs maybe zero to 80 and then we're gonna do some second gear pulls, probably from like maybe 30 or 40, I'll see, to maybe 100. So this way we have a good comparison from the get-go and also from a rolling start, we'll be able to tell which bike finally is faster and you guys will see in this video. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. I'm gonna slap my helmet on and we're gonna take one of these at a time obviously, and we're gonna show you guys the results. This is gonna be a great video. And in this corner, 
2022 Street Bob 114 Stage 2 SNS 475 cam Bassani 2 into 1 exhaust custom dyno tuned by JD Psychworks weighing in at a mere measly 618 pounds blue by you and in this corner we have our 2020 road glide special performance bagger 130 inch t-man performance motor stage four zippers chain drive kit dark horse crankworks signature crank pushing 153 horsepower and 156 foot pounds of torque we have silverback I was gonna say, let's get ready to rumble, but I can't, that's copyrighted. So <laughs> let's get out with the video. All right, if you guys aren't not familiar with this, this is a draggy unit, D-R-A-G-G-Y, and it is a GPS tracking device used by car racers, motorcycle racers, whatever. You can put it on anything and it will basically tell you any kind of time you want, whether it's zero to 60, zero to 50, zero to 100, you could basically set it to where you can calculate any kind of time. One eighth mile, quarter mile, mile, 50 to 100, 50 to 160, whatever. There is custom options. It's pretty cool. So we're going to take Blue Bayou first. I'm going to put the unit right there on the inside and that is secure and then i'm gonna run the app and you guys will see from my helmet camera how it all plays out real time on the app just about geared up i got my helmet before you guys ride make sure you guys are properly geared up don't be a squid make sure you got some good boots make sure you got some good gloves make sure you got some good face shields on head on over to indyridgeusa.com use code fanatics for 10 percent off link will be down below in the description fantastic boots the most comfortable pair of riding boots i've ever had code fanatics 10 percent off indyridgeusa.com all right guys we're gonna take out blue bayou first start her up let her warm up and then go do some runs all right we're ready to rock all right, first I wanna show you guys, Draggy unit is right there. And this is the display from the Draggy app. So it's gonna show all the parameters. Okay, if I go to add, like this is what it's gonna show. I have it set for zero to 60, 60 to 130, zero to 130, eighth mile, quarter mile. And then in custom mode, I got 40 to 130, 45 to 130, 50 to 130. 30 to 100, 40 to 110, 40 to 120, 50 to 130. I'm just gonna leave all them and then see what kind of results we get. And then this way we can compare. When I bring the bike back, I will show you, well, bring both of them back, I will show you the results. Oh, this thing is. <laughs> boys, 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 this thing is. Listen to that thing. Vicious, vicious. Such a awesome bike, man. I really, really love this bike. Such a joy to ride. Listen to that thing. Woo. Finally got a couple dry days here in the Northeast. 
It's been friggin' raining like every single day. Crazy. <laughs> also shows you the temperature 54 degrees shows you your elevation we're 85 feet above sea level also shows you the da um and it's minus 174 and that is really really good it's very nice and cool crisp air is dense so the bikes will be running in tip-top shape not hot out the hotter you are the da rises and obviously you lose power because the air is not as dense as like a day today <laughs> and yes we will be in mexico <laughs> So now the draggy is recording times, but obviously they're slow times because I'm not getting on it. But then once I'm ready, I'll hit that reset button. This way it'll record the time that I want. So from a, from a dig, from a standstill, I definitely know and I honestly think that the Street Bob would take Silverback only because it's lighter. But my guess is that probably at i don't know my guess is that probably around 80 70 80 miles an hour i am thinking that silverback will start pulling on it so that's why i want to do some zero to 60s and then that's why that's where we'll know zero to 60s is where we'll know how fast or which bike is faster off a dig and then we'll do some like pulls from like 40 to 100, 40 to 110. This way we'll see which bike gets there faster. We'll know which one is faster. All right, here we go. We'll do a 50. One zero to 60 there <laughs> that's pretty damn fast I'll tell you guys later I'm sure you guys are dying to know well as soon as I bang second rear tire let loose slid nice and steady laid a nice patch down on the ground but another good time pretty similar to the other one all right another good run so we'll take it back now grab silver back and then do some runs on silverback come back i'll show you i'll go over the results and then i'll go over it with you guys i'm so so curious this bike is so fast i i just don't know i just honestly like i i don't know <laughs> we'll see this bike sounds absolutely insane though Oh, you feel it. I got 50 caliber machine gun. Scraping, scraping, scraping. Ah, 
sounds so good. This thing is a little beast. <laughs> it's a little terror. Man, everything about what we did with this bike is just right on the money. The bar setup, the height, the risers, the seat, the fairing, great wind protection, unbelievable. Super nimble bike, just really fun to ride. Absolutely awesome, awesome second bike or first bike for those that do not want a bagger, but me, I need a bagger, love baggers, love the road glide. But if you have a bagger, oh wow. For a second bike, this is it, man. Just wants to pull the front wheel off the ground. Man, I could ride this thing all day. It's that comfortable as well. I'm seriously debating if I should take this on the bun burner 1500 all right boys that was crazy that was a fun little rip we are gonna start the beast i haven't had silver back out oh yeah oh yeah with that chrome works look at that listen to that thing Mm, mm, mm. Putting on the wrong glove. <laughs> oh my god, these gloves are great by Indy Ridge and these boots, let me tell you. So happy to be partnered with Indy Ridge. Fantastic riding gear, fantastic products. Haven't had silver back out in quite some time. We're gonna be doing a ride video. I got something special for you guys this Friday. We're going somewhere special. We were invited to. Stay tuned. And this Sunday we're going to a bikes and breakfast, but not close. We're going to a bikes and breakfast far away. And we're gonna be rolling deep, deep into Pennsylvania. Can't wait. Let me tell you, you feel the weight immediately, obviously. <laughs> but boy, love, love, love my hammerhead bars. Love them. Ah, uh, look, come on, come on, look at this thing. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. All right, and we're off. We're off to see the wizard. This thing, though, let me tell you. Silverback, it just feels so tight because of the man of war compensator, the chain drive. It just feels, it's just such a tight build. Uh, brakes, brakes are great now. I'm super happy with the brakes. I appreciate Arlen Ness getting back to me finally and doing right by me. So it's all good. Definitely look into these rotors, the Arlen Ness, not the waved rotors like I had before, but these that I have on there now are fantastic. They work fantastic. They work great. So smooth, so much stopping power. Uh, I am so curious. Let's see what this thing does against the street bob. I just posted on Instagram a little short reel and asking everyone what do they think and everyone's saying Street Bob, everyone. I think there was one person that said Street Bob in the beginning but obviously Silverback will start pulling at a higher speed and that's what I think because I think the horsepower doesn't matter the weight I just think the horsepower will overcome it in the long run but we shall see 
Oh, I love this bike. Ba -ba 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 We got almost 12,000 miles on her. Two years old, but I didn't even have it for probably about eight months. We put 10,000 miles on her in one year, and then we didn't have Silverback for quite a long time. thing goes man I don't know I don't know I will start slow start warming her up oh so it's 1255 now just so you guys know which run it was this is 1255 so anything after 1255 this is on Silverback. This bike is like a Cadillac. <laughs> Someone also mentioned, obviously the Street Bob is lighter, but it has less horsepower. This one is much heavier, probably 200 pounds, but has more horsepower and torque. But they said the Street Bob is geared, obviously different, geared lower, but so is this because we went with the chain drive. So it's geared slightly lower, which obviously helps. So we'll see, we'll see. And the Street Bob, let me tell you, with the Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing with the 13 inch windshield, if any of you guys are looking into getting something on a Street Bob, get that with the 13 inch windshield. It has really, really good wind protection, very good. Like, you really don't even feel a lot of buffeting on that bike with, with that fairing and the 13-inch windshield. It, it works really well. I'm happily surprised. It, it works awesome. Wow, guys. I just... The dummy that I am, I didn't hit the record button. I just did the 0 to 60 and the 50 to 110. I roasted the back tire for like, I don't know, 40 yards. Got unbelievable results. I can't wait to get back to tell you guys about the results. I'm, I'm just, I'm literally shocked. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I can't wait to show you guys. But I do have it recorded. That's 100% that I do have it recorded. I verified it. But dummy me. I didn't turn the camera on, but I'll give you guys another one right here. So this way we could have two at least to compare to. But oh my God, I am absolutely shocked with the results. So anyway, I was talking, camera wasn't on, but I'll go over it really quick. The brakes, these Arlen S 14 inch big brake rotor kit smoothed they are the non-floating rotors they are fantastic zero brake fluctuation in the lever and when you grab i'm literally like one two fingers on the brake at all time but when you grab a handful of brake oh wow it's it's just stopping this big bagger fantastic and i was also saying when you hit, when you give a lot of brake on these big baggers, if you're running stock suspension, the whole bike wants, it has a tendency to nosedive because of that really soft front suspension. I have the Legends in the front and the bike obviously nosedives a tad bit, but not like kind of bottoms out like on the stock suspension. So if you guys are looking to upgrade your bike to a big board kit 128 130 131 don't forget you need the stopping power if you guys like riding hard you guys need the stopping power you guys need the suspension because it all works hand in hand it all works together and i see everyone they're getting a lot of big board kits done over by dave at jd cycle works which is fantastic because he is the guy to go to um, but definitely talk to him about upgrading your brakes upgrading the suspension 
you will definitely not regret it. So smooth, so smooth. I went from a stop back there, hit second gear, and literally roasted the tire for about a good 40 yards or so. Brakes are fantastic. Let's see if we could get another one here in Mexico. Boy, I am so psyched to get back home to go over these numbers with you guys. Holy cow. This is just really interesting stuff, like really good knowledge. I mean, to know what one bike does against the other with weight comparison differences, with power and torque differences. It's just, it's great. the same unbelievable crazy 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 and good thing I did it twice so this way you guys can see because dummy me I didn't hit record but now at least you'll see the times it's 117 now the date everything is registered stamped on the time on the run I mean I'm in li I'm literally I'm in shock little mini garbage truck check that thing out wow so i gotta look at these numbers very very interesting Right, guys in a couple minutes we will see we will go to the videotape as Warner Wolf used to say <laughs> let's go to the videotape we're gonna check it out remember that guy he was awesome <laughs> we'll check out the numbers we'll talk about it kind of try to wrap our heads around it see in a few oh my god that was Pretty cool, made a nice cup of coffee. It's a little chilly here. Probably about 53 degrees out today, but it's absolutely beautiful. Love this weather, love to ride in this weather. Oh my God, so changed also. So back in some nice comfy clothes. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I have some notes here, but I'm gonna post up the pictures as well. <clears throat> so you guys could see the the proof from the draggy, but uh, I am absolutely shocked, shocked. So, first of all, whoever had their money <laughs> on the street, Bob? Wow, you're going home broke. <laughs> oh my God, crazy, crazy. Again, Silverback. 810 to 820 pounds, 153 horsepower, 156 foot pounds of torque, zippers chain drive kit, which gears the bike down a little bit lower. Dark Horse Crankworks crank, Man of War compensator, recluse torque drive clutch kit, 130 T Man performance motor, crazy. Street Bob, badass, 114 stage two. SNS 475 cam, Bassani 2 into 1. Sorry, Chromeworks 2 into 1 into 2. Louvered baffles, amazing. Bassani 2 into 1 road rage exhaust, 475 cam. Both bikes done by none other than Dino Dave, JD Cycle Works. The guy is a magician, the guy is a master. So, anyway, anyone had their money on the street bob you're going home broke guys because here are the numbers and that's why i'm just so shocked i have them down here written in my notes i'm going to post up the pictures let's go first silverback 
zero to 60, 3.81, 3.81. Blue Bayou, 3.94, very close. But Silverback for the win for zero to 60. Eighth mile, huge, important. Silverback, 7.71. I think it was at like 96 miles an hour or 93 miles an hour. Look at the picture, but it's 7.71, eighth mile on Silverback, 7.92 on Blue Bayou. Silverback got the zero to 60. Silverback got the one eighth mile. Here's a really important one because this one takes pretty long to get from 50 to 110, okay? 50 to 110 silverback 6.53 that's crazy fast not as fast as the audi but very close similar blue bayou 50 to 110 eight seconds flat think about that 50 to 110 silverback 6.53 blue bayou eight seconds flat absolutely amazing i i literally i thought my honest opinions were i thought zero to 60 and the one eighth mile the wind was going to go to street bob okay because it's lighter it's very fast but because of the weight 200 pound difference okay we have the same temperatures i did it the same day literally within a half an hour both bikes of one another same temperatures, same everything. Silverback, okay, I thought was going to lose, obviously, 0 to 60 and 1 eighth mile. But I thought Silverback was going to pull slowly, get a better time from 50 to 110. Because I thought that's where the power, I thought that's where the torque is going to come into play. But it crushed, it crushed 50 to 110 and it beat zero to 60 and one eighth mile. Holy, holy cow. The first one I did, I apologize guys. I really messed up because I didn't hit the record button, but the second run, actually the, the zero to 60, one eighth mile runs on the street, Bob. Second gear, I broke, the tire broke loose, left a patch, but the zero to 60, the first one, the zero to 60 and one eighth mile on Silverback, I must have left a good 30, 40 yard patch. And I still, we still beat the street bob. But amazing, amazing. What do you guys think about that? It's crazy. So I just wanted to do it just for the hell of it. I thought it would be a cool video. And I really do think that the information is pretty cool just for fun really don't mean anything but just so you guys know silverback is an absolute freaking beast man that thing is absolute beast 200 pounds heavier beat the street bob. but let me tell you if the street bob had a stage four had the power that silverback's got he'll probably rip your damn arms off guys thanks for watching really appreciate it hit me up in the comments let me know what you guys think and we'll see you guys on the next one hit me up in the comments also let me know what you guys want to see for future videos peace out